We probably should have let him have a say in what vehicle he is going to choose or pick out. But when I did ask him, he just said, I don't want a truck. Today is a big day. This is the day that we pick up the car that Lincoln is gonna drive when he turns 16 years old. 16 years old. Which is in a couple of months. He seriously has no idea which car we're going to get him. No, it is not an Acura. Big, big surprise. The car that we are going with is right across the street. What car do we get? An S, a three, an X, or a Y, or a Roadster? There are five Teslas out there right now. We decided not to do the S because it is super expensive and I already have one. That's a really expensive car. We decided not to do the X because he doesn't need an SUV and again, super expensive. Came down to the Model 3 and the Model Y. Those are the two options. Now the Model 3, I do like that car. It is very nice but it is a little bit on the smaller side. For just a little bit more money, you get a car that's higher off the ground and it also has more room inside and storage for golf clubs and all those things. So, yes, we went with a Tesla Model Y. Okay, look at this Model Y. I think this might be it. This might be the car. It's so pretty, I'm so excited for it. So here's what we went with. We've got the blue car with the matte finish on the handles. Check it out. I mean, that's what comes standard now. It didn't used to come standard. Everybody always had to pay to get that done, but even like right here, it is the matte finish. It's like you can just see Lincoln cruising in this yes, thing. Yes, he's gonna be so happy. Like it just makes my eyes water. I'm so happy for him. So he doesn't turn 16 for a while. Do you wanna drive this car around instead? Yeah, it has better range than mine, so. It probably does. <laughs> Not as many seats, though. There's a few things that I've heard about horror stories. Yes, we've received a lot of Teslas before, but there's a few things that you need to look for when you get the car. You need to look for dents in the transfer. You need to look for the panel gaps to see if the gaps are too big. And you also need to look at the paint to make sure that they didn't miss any spots or it's splotchy. They've gotten a lot better, but you also have to look for those things. Right there, looking pretty good. Pretty good right there. Okay, that paint, oh. That was not paint, that was some, some someone's spit. All right, so there's one thing on here that they did call us as we were driving down here to warn us. When you're transporting the vehicles, sometimes things happen and things go wrong. Well, with this one, something went wrong. This right here is dented. Look at that, it's a pretty massive dent. It's not supposed to be like that. It was something in transport. They kind of hit together. Once they're done with this whole third quarter rush where they get the cars and they're like delivering as many as they can, and we're gonna come back in three or four weeks and they're probably gonna have to replace this entire back right here. That's unfortunate to take a car with a big dent in it, but they'll fix it for free. We'll drive for another five hours down here and back home to get it fixed. They did give us a $100 merch certificate so we can buy some Tesla merch, like a shirt or something or a hat. I love how black the windows are, this matte finish. I went with the matte wheels. I think I paid a little extra for this just because I feel like the black on black looks really, really good. So hopefully Lincoln likes it. We probably should have let him have a say in what vehicle he is going to choose or pick out. But when I did ask him, he just said, I don't want a truck. Okay, and I want something that has a good sound system. That's pretty much the only two things he said. And then he's like, whatever you want to get me, you can get me. So he kind of gave us the chance to give it to him. Tesla Model Y has a weird key. So we have this key fob. This is one of the ways that we get in, not a key fob, a credit card looking thing. Is you're supposed to be able to use your app and just walk up to it and get in it, but um, it's not registering as my car yet. So I'm gonna use this to get in. You, you go like that, I guess? No? Hey, first time in the new car. Oh, that's pretty nice. It smells good. I thought mine smelled good, but this one smells really good. It's so fancy. Okay, so we got a long wheel, long range, all wheel drive. That is the one that we went with. Range is always better to have more range over better performance. You don't need to have the fastest Tesla out there. I personally think it's a waste of money to do that, but here we are. Yeah, 81% battery. Is it resetting? Oh. It turned off on me. It's so pretty. I just can't believe that he is old enough to drive. It makes me kind of tear up a little bit. Let's get out of here because there's like so many cars I know, driving around. Everyone's like, Why is it dinging at me? Because I don't my seat. Oh, okay. It's me always. I never realize. Okay. No. No. Nope. Something's wrong. Does it tell us what's wrong? Trunk is open and trunk is open. No, that's just to open it. Well, oh. it just dings at me. 
We're driving. <laughs> Both of our seatbelts are on. And it's no. dinging at no. us. This will drive you crazy. This doesn't drive me crazy. Oh, well, yeah, this will drive any person crazy. <laughs> if it doesn't drive you crazy, then you're crazy. <laughs> I can go 10 minutes without being bothered by it. Oh my gosh. There's no warning <laughs> on the screen. There's nothing. We have to go back. There's nothing happening. Right? The car has a giant dent in it, and it won't stop dinging. This is not the greatest delivery experience I, so far. The people are very nice. They're so nice and we love Teslas, but... But come on, how, how long... How could they not notice this when they took it around the corner? How? It's just dinging at me. Sometimes people think that I'm just like negative toward Tesla on purpose. No, we love them. I'm not being negative, I'm just showing... I'm just showing what's going on and it's just dinging at me. I don't... I don't, I didn't ding the, I didn't dent the back, and I'm definitely not making it ding on purpose. Oh, what if we can't take it tonight? Okay, I'm gonna get out and get back in and see if that fixes it. Oh. Put the key right there, maybe I have to put the key right there. Why wouldn't it tell us that though? That was it. That's stupid. So the Model 3 and the Model Y, you have this stupid key. And in order for you to get it to stop dinging at you, you have to say, hey, I got it. It's right here. There it is. And then you can drive without it dinging. But that is kind Well, of all you Model 3 and Model Y owners are like, probably laughing the whole time. Like, <laughs> don't you know that's what you're supposed to do? No, I don't know that. Why would you do that? I used the key to get in the door. Isn't that enough to tell you? One thing I do like is that my phone is charging right there. Oh my there. gosh, that's amazing. Just set it on I there. I want this. One full screen right here, nothing right here. Um, it's very minimalistic, but the black interior looks really good. The sound system should be really nice. We did not pay for um, full self-driving. It's $10,000 upgraded for that. I don't think it's worth it. Honestly, if you're thinking about getting it, don't get it. It's a waste of money. I, I've driven in the latest iteration of full self-driving three days ago with my friend. It messed up three different times driving around town. Like it is not perfect. And that's like the best that Tesla has right now. So I would recommend save your $10,000, use it somewhere else. <laughs> the car will still drive on the freeway in the lane. You just can't signal lanes and it's not gonna do all the things in the future that it's supposed to be doing. But honestly, with the government looking into Tesla for their full self-driving claims and everything, there's a chance it may never happen. So we decided not to do that for Lincoln. I want him to pay attention on the roads, just use to stay in the lane, so. I left my purse on the floor. Well, you should probably get it. We have the car. We figured out the dinging. We have not figured out the dent. Oh my gosh, every time you touch it, it's like, you have to play, tap your key right here. There we go, I tapped it. Oh, and press brake. Oh my gosh. The dinging sound is the most annoying sound in the world. It stopped. It stopped. I figured it out. All right, Leslie, you have to go charge this car and get home. Good job, on, good job on picking out a good car for Lincoln. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to surprise him. The surprise is gonna be awesome. I cannot wait. Okay, drive safe. Okay, bye honey. I have a very important place that I have to stop here in town first. Every time I come to Las Vegas, I stop at this one specific place. Then we can continue onward and get this car home and we need to hide it somewhere so that Lincoln doesn't see it. Seriously, these donuts are so good. They're about to build one, a shop of this, up in our small town, which I'm really excited about. So usually when we come down to Las Vegas, we get a couple of boxes. And then when we go home, we just give them to friends and to family and stuff and just like spread the love because everybody can use a donut. A two hour drive back to our house and we need to hide this car somewhere because we're not showing Lincoln today. Okay, 
Okay, I made it. I am going to store this at my parents' house for the time being. In two days, I have tint set up for the windows, the two driver's side windows that don't have tint on them. And then I think what we'll do is on Saturday, we will reveal the car to Lincoln. I think I might just like hide it in the RV garage and where the golf simulator is, back it up into there, move the couch, and then have all of his friends in there and then have it be a big surprise. Some people might wonder, why did we get a Tesla Model Y that is a super nice car for a kid to have? You are right. Um, he is very lucky and very blessed. This is one of the safest cars in the world. Tesla makes very safe cars. I want my son to be safe when he drives, if he gets into an accident. I like that I can track the car all the time using the mobile app and see how fast he's going. I also like that I can set the speedometer to never go faster than 90 miles an hour. All of the cameras on the car are always recording things. They're recording what's happening. And of course, obviously, I feel very fortunate to be in the situation that we're at because we've had this amazing run as YouTubers. And so I only feel that it is fitting for Lincoln to have a blue Tesla Model Y. What's inside blue in a way? Now, is this his car that he is going to keep and have after he moves out of the house? That's still a question that we're going to have to have with him. He does need to do some things like make sure his grades are maintained and do some other stuff. And we also have London and Claire that are gonna be turning 16. Every two years, we have somebody turning 16 for the next four years. And so we need to figure out what we're gonna do for the family cars. But for now, for the time being, while he lives in our house for the next two years, this is the car that he will be driving, which is super cool. If you wanna see the video of us surprising Lincoln with the car to get his reaction, then stay tuned. We're going to be showing that video next, I would imagine. I haven't filmed it yet, so I'm a little nervous and excited for the big unveiling, but there you go. The car is here. It's a beaut, I like it. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the surprise next. how fancy this is, honestly. I've never seen one in the daytime. I've only seen them in the evening. You've seen them in the evening? What yes. does that even mean? I've only seen the Model Y in the evening. In Jonathan's car, I've how only been in there at dark. In oh, okay. dark. Okay. So I've never actually seen it. What? No. Oh, honey, honey. No, I'm fine. I'm okay. not going to hit it. Everybody can use a donut.